What do you remember your first time at Croke Park? And this can be as a kid now. Um, I remember Jem O'Connor getting the ball from about 65 yards out and putting it over the bar. Um, so Gemma, obviously, it's a well-known fact that to people in Kogi that Gemma O'Connor was my hero growing up and I'm sure she is the hero of so many others. But that that's something that just stands out in my mind, Gemma O'Connor doing that. I can't even remember what year it was. Um, but yeah, so it was such an honour to play with her for so long. and had to see her go, yeah. yeah. Uh, Favourite player of all time? Is it the same person? <laughs> yeah, Gemma O'Connor, definitely. Um, I think Orla Cotter as well. have to give, uh, give Orla a bit of a nod there as well. I absolutely love playing with Orla. A lady on the pitch and off the pitch. Um, and definitely two of the best players I've ever played with. Is there room for ladies on the pitch, given all the cut and thrust going on? <laughs> yes, there's always room for ladies on the pitch. <laughs> uh, who's the most famous person that follows you online? Uh, Lisa Jordan just followed me today. <laughs> so am I, I showing my age by saying who's that? Ah, stop! Just Jordan, famous blogger. Yeah, definitely know who that is. Definitely know who that is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who has been your be- uh, toughest opponent and why? Um, jeez, toughest opponent. I'd probably have to look inside our own dress room in Cork. You know, Pamela Mackey there. Probably I said best defender in the country for the last I don't know how many years um I'd say definitely Pam I don't, I don't think she got enough credit when she played and um, I'd say if you looked at the stats over the years of how many top players she kept quiet and um, I'd say it would it would astonish you she was just unbelievable great man marker and um, had everything you know the speed the fitness to keep up with people and um, so yeah I would look inside my own dressing room there okay and this could be club or county the team you most like to beat team I most like to beat um, who do you like sticking it to <laughs> I suppose as a Cork woman you'll always love sticking it to Kilkenny yeah, um, um, yeah, yeah, yeah Kilkenny I that. suppose uh, proudest day uh, proudest day Jesus uh, proudest day was definitely being named Cork captain okay. it was a huge honour for me yeah Who's been the biggest influence on your career? Um, I'd say my boyfriend, Danny. Uh, so I'm with Danny like 10 years, nearly 10 years. <laughs> um, so I met him when I was really young um, and he's mad GA, but he's just a good guiding figure in my life. He really helps guide me, you know, that kind of way. Yeah. Uh, so like I would obviously play soccer and Gaelic football and um, he's really good with advice and influential in terms of like he knows his GA inside out and um, so definitely the most influential figure on my life. Uh, what's your favourite stadium to play in now? Uh, ooh. I'd say Parky Weaver Crow Park. Okay. I like I like Semple Stadium as well actually so. So um, the answer is all geez. of them. I suppose yeah like <laughs> if you win Crow Park if you lose no. <laughs> uh, what's the best atmosphere you've ever played in? Um, best atmosphere. I'd say the 2017 All Ireland final. I would say, um, the last went really down to the wire. You know, uh, it was a Julia Oik got the winning score. Um, definitely that. It was just so tense at the time. Okay. Um, what's the uh, biggest disappointment to your career? Um. Biggest disappointment, I think, was last year's semi final. Um, I I suppose I had a good year up until that, uh, and I probably wasn't as in the game as I would have liked to be. Um, and then as a team, I just think we should have pushed on and we didn't. Um, and that's that's not taken away from Kilkenny at all. Kilkenny played very well, you know, and uh, they harried, harassed us, and um, they were intense in the tackle, and they, they carried that right into the final. Uh, but it was just a really disappointing year. Um, and the year for me okay. um, was that a few questions now to put your teammates on the spot or put them on uh, in a bit of focus who's the joker on the panel <laughs> Anna Looney without a doubt yeah why <laughs> she's mad Anna. Okay. Uh, she's just crazy one thing uh, she turns up to training in the most outrageous outfits and like <laughs> brilliant brilliant uh, who is the best trainer Best trainer, as in like who gives it their all in training and stuff. Yeah, that yeah. kind of. Uh, 
I'd say Laura Tracy. She always gives it her all in training and always pushes herself, you know, really, really hard. But, like, in fairness, everyone in Cork, you know, when we're there, we're there to train. You know, we're not there to socialise or anything like that. You can do that before or after, but when you're there to train, you're there to train. But I think Laura Tracy would stand out there. Who's the best dressed? Not Hannah. Anyone but Hannah. <laughs> well, the worst dressed is next. <laughs> She'll so kill that's me Hannah. for saying that now. <laughs> So we'll go with her for uh, the worst Best one. dressed. <laughs> I think Maeve Callahan has lovely style, actually. Yeah. Okay. And um, which player loves the media attention? Now, you do a few interviews, so maybe maybe you're the answer here. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not me, no. Um, hmm. I don't know. I should be careful of what I say there now. <laughs> I okay. don't know. Jeez, um, I don't know. Okay. I'm not even going to answer it. I always ask the lads who thinks the women loves them. Who thinks the men love them? Oh, Jesus. Uh, <laughs> I have no idea. I'm just trying to think. I are don't you, know. Is it a cop out? Are you copping out? I'm probably cop. Oh, I don't know. I can't even. I can't really think. Okay. Anyway, we'll jump on. We'll go yeah. on from that one. Uh, what player from another sport do you admire? Uh, player from another sport. Ah, uh, I suppose obviously the obvious one is like Messi or someone like that. Um, just trying to think. Rachel Blackmore, actually, recently enough, you know, she's probably in the headlines now. There's probably more than that, like Serena Williams, mm. people like that. Uh, but I think lately Rachel Blackmore is just brilliant to see that a female jockey has achieved so much, uh, especially in such a short short period of time. Okay. Um, but yeah, I, I I like Serena Williams as well. Um, there's, there's probably loads more I just can't think on the spot ok uh, what manager from another sport do you admire uh, I love Pep Guardiola I think he I love his philosophy of play um, he, he's, he's really really good ok great stuff Amy really appreciate that and best of luck uh, this season with Cork thanks Vinny